Hey, this is Cakes and Shakes, and I'm here with a couple of my friends just playing Adopt Me and growing pets. Super fun. Right now, I'm making a mega platypus, a mega puffin, and a mega strawberry bat dragon. Super fun pets. But one of the things that I wanted to spend a little bit of time on is just teaching people frost values. So this is something I learned just by playing and trading and um, just knowing other people who had played a long time. I'm not sure where they originated from. I'm here with Midnight, my mega shadow, by the way. And you can see my other pets in the back. There's, there's Cakes and there's Shakes and there's Silver Mist and there's Coco and there's um, Tropical Skittles and Rainbow Dash and Disco and on down the line. But you can see right here on the left of my screen, I've got these, um, these numbers. And so a lot of folks who have high tier pets, they use what they call frost values. That's what's in this column. And frost values are just kind of an index off of a frost dragon. So think about it as how many frost dragons is a pet worth? And so I'm not sure exactly where they came from, but uh, everyone, a lot of folks seem to use them, especially on these high tier pets. Uh, I, and I certainly use them. So here's what I learned. Um, oops. The, uh, the, the, it, it, and I'll start at the lowest value pets. And this is for the, all the high tier pets. So a crow and above. So an evil unicorn is worth half a frost. A crow is worth half a frost. A parrot is worth 0.6, an owl 0.8, and a frost is obviously worth a frost. And then uh, a giraffe is worth 1.5, a bat dragon is 2.3 frost, a shadow is 2.5, a neon crow is 1.5, a neon evil is 1.5, a neon parrot is 1.8. A neon owl is 2.3, so the same, a neon owl is worth the same as a bat dragon. A neon frost is 2.8. That's a little bit more than a shadow. Uh, and uh, a, ne a neon giraffe is 4.5. A neon bat dragon is 6.8, so almost 7 frost. A neon shadow is 7.5 frost. A mega crow is 5. A mega evil unicorn is 5.2, so worth a little bit more than a mega crow. That's actually something that uh, when I first started playing, I didn't realize that a mega crow and a mega evil are both worth more um, than a neon giraffe. And um, so I was always offering, because a giraffe is worth more than a neon uh, evil or a neon crow, so I didn't realize that a mega was worth more. Uh, then there's a mega parrot is 6, a mega owl is 8.2, a mega frost 9.3, a mega bat 2.1, mega giraffe uh, 14.5, and a mega shadow is, is uh, 20. 23 so a mega bat dragon so those are the frost values um, values fluctuate from time to time right and so um, you never know uh, that you know just different pets of different value go up and down all the time I do believe in evil so two evils is are worth a frost I do I have done that trade multiple times and so I do know that that's true. Crows are worth, in my view, a little bit less than the evil. You, you, sometimes you can trade a crow for an evil, but I think they're worth a little bit less. And then the same thing for a neon crow and a neon evil, they're supposed to be worth the same as a giraffe, but a giraffe, in my view, um, or at least based on my trades, a giraffe, you can always get ads for both an evil and a crow. So in my view, they're worth a little bit less. The other thing is a lot of people tell me that a neon giraffe um, has gone down in value. I agree with that. I think it's um, worth more like 4.1 frost instead of 4.5. And then uh, I think mega bat dragons might even have gone up. Like I've seen people do mega bat dragon trades for mega shadows or mega shadows for mega bats with only a really small ad on the mega bat to get, to get a mega shadow. So they used to be basically you'd have to trade a mega bat dragon plus like a neon owl or a bat, dra a single bat dragon to get a mega shadow. Now, 
I think the mega bats are probably worth a little bit more. So that those are frost values. If you ever wonder what they are, hopefully this is helpful, helps you to understand what the value of your pets are. That's how I think about it. I use, I typically use um, adopt me trading values for any of the low tier pets. So any of the pets that I'm not um, showing here, but everything else, I pretty much use these values. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, the other thing that the other thing that I just wanted to um, mention is you can kind of do the math here, but in general, a mega is worth, uh, three neons is worth a mega. So for example, um, you know, and, and this isn't always perfect, but you know, three, um, you know, three neon bat dragons. So 6.8 times three, I'm just going to round to seven would be 21 and 21 is, is worth what a mega bat dragon is, is worth. So that's typically how it works. You can see, you can do the math here. Some of the numbers are a little bit off that. And, you know, there are other things like I, I find a, um, like a mega owl, um, 8.2. It's super hard to get a mega owl for 8.2. They're just in such high demand. Um, but you know, you never, you never know. So, uh, hopefully that's a helpful video to you all like the video sub the channel and thank you here to my friends for um, joining me on this video and uh, we'll see you soon and thank you very much